Hi guys, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Yes, this week is happy Teacher Appreciation Week, so make sure you show your teacher some love. Anyways, I'm Ms. Johnson and I'm here to get into your next cool, fun math lesson. All for the past two weeks, we've been talking about 2D shapes and 3D shapes. 2D shapes are examples of our circle, our square, there we go, there's my finger. So our circle, our square, our triangle, I'm trying to get used to this, and last but not least, our rectangle. So those are our 2D shapes that we have been reviewing. And we've also reviewed some 3D shapes like our, let's see if I can do this, cube, rectangular prism, sphere, and our cone. Yes. All right, so those are the 3D shapes that we have reviewed so far and the 2D shapes we have reviewed so far. So today, I'm gonna do a little bit of comparing. We want to compare the differences between our 2D shapes and our 3D shapes. Just two things we know right off the bat is one, our 2D shapes, which is like our circle, square, triangle, and rectangle are flat like a pancake. Do that right now, ready? One, two, three. Flat like a pancake. One more time, because somebody didn't do it. One, two, three, flat like a pancake. So our two-dimensional shapes, like our circle, our square, our triangle, our rectangle, are all flat like a pan pancake. Now our three-dimensional shapes are not. We can touch them. I can hold it in my hand. Where our 2D shapes, we cannot do that. I can't rip it off my board. But I can pick this up off a table, or I can bounce my basketball because they are three-dimensional and they take up space. So that is what we've learned so far. So I'm gonna just pick any two shapes, whether they're 2D or 3D, and we're just gonna talk about them a little bit and talk about their differences. And let's just get started. All right, first I have my basketball, which is the shape of a sphere. So this is the shape of a sphere. And I'm also going to take my square. My square, sorry, I'm learning my new camera. My square is the shape of a square. It is a 2D shape. This is a 3D shape. The difference between the two right off the bat, boom. My 2D shape is flat. This basketball is not flat. Look it. You can see between my two hands that it is not flat. But if I put this paper in between my hands, boop, it's flat like a pancake. You can't even see it anymore. Another big difference between the two is my sphere. Does it have any vertices? Remember, vertices are points. Vertices are when two ends meet and make a point. Does it have any points on it? I wish I could spit it on my finger, but I can't. If I try, watch this. Oh, I almost did. So yeah, no points. So it spins, it rolls. This 2D shape, our square, does have vertices. Here's a vertex. Here's a vertex. Here's a vertex. And here's a vertex. So it has one, two, three, four points, which makes four vertices. Another difference between these two is that this square has sides, straight edges. This again is round. Let's see if I can do another spin. Ooh, that was better. And it has no sides. There's no sides. It's round. Now let me put this basketball down before I break my computer. So those are the difference between those two. Another thing I want to show is this bad boy, our cone. And I also want to show our triangle. 
these are similar, but they are different because again, our triangle, which is our 2D shape, is flat like a pancake. Our cone, I can put it in between my two hands and it is not flat. Turn to the side. It is not flat like a pancake. I cannot smush it in half. So that's two differences that I notice. My 2D shape is flat like a pancake. My 3D shape is not. Another difference is, let's count how many vertices our triangle has. One, two, three. It has three vertices, where our cone only has one vertex, one point. The bottom is flat, flat. Mine's a little, there we go. The bottom is flat. There's only one point, one vertex. So that is a difference between the two. How about our cylinder and our cube? They're both 2D shapes. Whoops. They're both 3D shapes. They're not flat. But what differences can we see? Which one is the cube? This one or this one? Which one is the cube? This one or this one? If you said this one, bing, 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 you're right. This is a cylinder. So a couple differences we see between the two is that the cylinder has two faces. Remember, the faces are the flat sides. It has a flat side here and a flat side there. So our cylinder has two faces, not the face here, the face on the flat side. And it is round. Our cube has one, two, three, four, five, six faces. And it is not round like our cylinder. One last difference between these two is that our cube has a vertex and has vertices. This, this don't got no points. This don't have anything. It is round, it's circular, and it does not have any pointy sides. So this has no vertices and this one does. Now, what a lot of us like to confuse this shape, our cube for, is our square. The only thing that's similar about these two is that the cube's face, its side, the face, is the same shape as a square. They have the same shape. The face is the face of a square. That is it. After that, they are different. This is a 2D shape because it is flat. This is a 3D shape because I can hold it in my hand and it takes up space. This one only has one, two, three, four vertices. This one has one, two, three, four, now I have to count the bottom, five, six, seven, eight vertices. That is the big difference, guys. Let's not mix these up. Cube, three-dimensional shape, takes up space. Square, two-dimensional shape, flat like a, Pancake. I'm going to get my whiteboard and I'm going to draw a picture of different shapes. Are these shapes 2D or 3D? They're flat. They do not take up space. They have vertices, but they have no faces. So are they 2D or 3D? Think for a second. If you said 2D, bing, 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 we have a winner. Yes, these are two dimensional because they are flat like a pancake and they do not take up space. Go ahead and, and try to take that square off of the board. I bet you, you can't. You cannot pull any shape off of a board. You just can't. This shape and this shape. 
Are they 2D or 3D? 3D. Bung, 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 Time's up. If you said 3D, congratulations. You are a winner. These are 3D. All right, guys. That's all we have for today. Remember, these shapes are two-dimensional and these shapes are three-dimensional. The difference between the two is that these are flat like a pancake and you cannot touch them. These take up space and they can be held, they can be picked up, they can be thrown. They are found all around us. Do not confuse the two. All right, guys, see you later. That's all I have for today. Now you're gonna go and you're gonna complete your Google form on 2D and 3D shapes and you are going to be comparing the two and talking about the differences between 2D shapes and 3D shapes and their attributes. And then there'll be a little bit of um, math fluency and one word problem. See you later, bye.